Hey Kyle, how's that Q50 article coming for the GT channel? Uh, it's going good. Very good. Doing uh, research. Intelligent all-wheel drive. Direct adaptive steering. 3.7 liter, six cylinder engine. 328 horsepower. I need one of these. Hey Kyle, where are you going? Uh, shopping. Oh, okay. Well, the Infiniti Q50 is truly as exciting to drive as I was expecting it to be. Uh, the engine is extraordinarily responsive. Uh, powering the vehicle is a 3.7 liter 600 engine, producing about 320 horsepower and around the 270s in the torque. And we also have the extremely responsive seven speed automatic transmission. And in addition to that, we have the, again, extraordinarily, if I do say so myself, responsive engine. And that is really where this car shines, is with the powertrain. The engine actually tops out around 7,500 RPMs, which is again unique. And we also of course have the 7-speed automatic transmission to keep our RPMs nice and low on those long distance drives for fuel economy purposes. The all-wheel drive grips the road very nicely. Handling uh, is good. Um, it's not quite as uh, feeling and responsive as some of the its competitors. However, it definitely still feels like a solid uh, vehicle to drive on the curves or what have you. We also have different driver profiles that we can go into. We have eco mode, we have sport mode, we have the standard mode, and then we also have personal mode and snow mode. So plenty of different driving modes, a five altogether for you to choose from. Now the personal mode I like, and you can again personalize it how you would like the steering, the throttle response, all those fun things. So, but mm, the, this the engine note that they managed to squeeze out of the six cylinder. It's very nice, very crisp, uh, very clear. And uh, the power band is very nice as well. It's a nice, smooth acceleration. It doesn't feel like it's topping out or stopping anywhere along the way. It's nice and smooth and linear acceleration, which is very nice. Um, then another cool thing is we have these two different screens that they have uh, 
input into the center console dash area here. We have our navigation screen on the top, which can also function via this little wheel down here as our audio. We can just hit the button, choose our different audio sources. We have Bluetooth string, of course, uh, Sirius satellite radio. Um, but you know, this is a nice uh, system to use overall. And once you get used to it, it's really convenient uh, to have two screens. And it's also fun too. It looks nice and nice crisp displays on both sides. So again, a nice uh, thing that you'd come to expect on a luxury vehicle of this price uh, would definitely be the heated steering wheel as well as the heated seats. But also not to be forgotten is the interior quality, uh, which is very apparent here throughout the spacious cabin. We have a nice um, solid trim pieces on the top here as well as this nice uh, brushed metal, which feels very nice to the touch, very solid. And coming down, continuing this waterfall as I like to call it feel, we have our leather with stitching in it, which looks very nice and refined. So definitely a fun sporty interior that's geared more towards the minimalist style. However, everything works together seamlessly and feels very nice. Now let's go put this car in the garage. One thing that I'd like to leave everybody with today about the Infiniti Q50 is how extraordinarily unique this vehicle is. When you go to your country club and you pull up in, let's say, your BMW, Audi, or maybe Mercedes-Benz vehicle, all your friends just bought BMWs and Mercedes-Benz vehicles. You want to be unique. You want to be different. You want to be somebody who has their own personal style and not just somebody who follows the crowd. And that is where the Infiniti Q50 comes into its own. It's a vehicle that doesn't follow the crowd, that makes its own rules. In price, it's comparable to the Germans. However, in style and attitude, it's truly unique. And that's why I love adding it to my collection, because it's another vehicle that means something. It's not just another new model. It is the 2015 Infiniti Q50. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching this episode of the Oakland Car Review. I need one of these. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Okay. <laughs> Blooper. Uh, I'm putting holes in the walls with the chair. The chair just didn't stop rolling on this. This. Uh. All right, ready? Hmm. Okay. Hey Kyle, where are you going? I'm going uh, shopping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey Kyle, where are you going? Sorry. <laughs> Take four. <laughs> Go ahead. Other way around. Uh, can we, should we read you? And a special thanks goes out to Suburban Infinity for supplying us with the vehicle we use today in this review.